Well, well. So, we're here playing Alan Wake. Alan Wake has been a huge monument in my life. When I played it years ago when it came out, it came out for the Xbox 360, and I got it as soon as it came out, and I absolutely loved it. It broadened the horizon for all the horror games that I love. So, we're playing it now. Get right in it. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and is what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. We're gonna look at everything. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. <gasps> Always need your coffee. Your coffee. I got my coffee. You don't even recognize me. Do you to play that guy that like, yeah. think you're God. <laughs> you think you just Friend. make up stuff. Dodge, dodge. 
I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Dreaming? In the nightmare, 
A terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Suspense like me running. Uh, He's here. Alan, wake up. Alan, <gasps> baby, just another nightmare. Alan. Everything's fine. Sorry. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying it. I'm Pat Mayen, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. Nice I to meet you, Pat. I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. 
I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Thanks, Pat. Now, Pat with the weather. Very nice. Oh. I got a couple right. of really good ones. And I see you, you made, made a friend. Cool. That's cute. Right. That is a cute person. I'm trying to steal it. Yeah. Hey, oh, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. Let me go explore. Alan, we're here. Come on, yeah. let's get back to the car. Always here. Hold on. I want to explore. You can't pull Barry for the type of steel by I was trying to steal her purse. My wife. My wife's purse. We need to stop at the local diner to get the key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. Yeah. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in say 15 minutes. Up. Sure. Fill her up. Alan, thank you for coming. Alan. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. You, Alan. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. Oh dear. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake up. Oh. I am your biggest fan. I know people Splish. say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? What's up, Stuckey? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back Don't in a moment. Stuckey. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Don't, don't Do me a favor, yeah. Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Here, Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah. Let him listen to his pop. Alright. I don't even know what coconut You put the is. lime in the coconut. Drink them oh, both God. up. Oh, Just no. because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in <laughs> your sleep. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I got a I, think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Knock on the back. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Are you stuck in there, Stucky? Stucky, stuck. Carl couldn't okay. make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. 
and to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Thanks. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I did this get really lucky ought to be fixed, that. and then oh, I must God. remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Just give me my ketchup with my eggs. Eggs and ketchup. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> Splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia! It swells up like a. The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Alright, thank you. Bye, Mr. Wake. Sploosh. Bye, Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. Mission I got some okay. flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> What's she driving if she didn't have her keys? Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home, okay? Okay, we can talk about this later. Are we gonna have to cut all that out? Wow, it's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. It's something, all Don't worry, right. honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Come on, Billy. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Birds. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Hello? Anyone here? The Deer Fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist. shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I had never heard of him before. I'm sure he's glad to be here too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. The power cable goes to that shed over there. Okay, smart butt. The island had once been the site for a love story. Didn't scare me. Maybe it would be that again. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Saying I'm like the best game. The lights are on. Good work, honey. All fresh. 
Cool. Up a bit and start settling in. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. a barn. It looks like a barn, but... Alan! Come here, I'm... Slowpoke! I'm waiting! Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. I want my first surprise first. So now I gotta go find the study. Is this the study? Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could Alice, write here that a change of scene... Put that away. Damn it, Alice, you... Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hey, hear Alan, me out. out There's buddy. a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. <sighs> um, that was a little mean, buddy. Come on, she was naked and everything. Well, kind of naked. Semi-naked. Not naked at all. Good damn it. Go take a drive. Empty it. Take a dip. In Alice. The water. Alice! 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 The cabin Alice! 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 What the hell? Alan! No! No! Ah! Alice? Ah! Alice? Is Alice? Oh man, Alice is fucking oh. oh no! There's something there? Oh man! Keep going, Alice. Oh. Alice? Uh. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emile Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. The station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. I was gonna say that doesn't look that far away. But now it's horrible far. Damn. Is it 
carbine. There's a carbine. There's a carbine. Go, 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 go. Did I? Scissors, Alan. Get some scissors. The loose sheets of paper were scissors pages from a famous. manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Look at Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hey, hey you, Phil. there's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non-refundable reservation. Deposit required. Fair and square. Uh. figure a way out of this. Any second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. He just did. During 
your trying. Yes. It's mm. right, fall sheriff station. Mm. Oh, Hello. Hello. Help. Let you. never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone, or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Because <laughs> that's how that works. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Oh, you see the arrows? Let's go away or something. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Even on the older game, the flash flood and the tree. It's pretty neat.
on, friends. You got this. Good one. On the water. That's all. Stucky was still out there in the dark, stalking. Come on, Stucky, get stuck. Get stuck, Stucky. Taken. They're taken. The taken are filled with darkness. You brought me to see that. That lithium ion that I'm um, straight from. Put me a stake on this old stone. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. 
right to side it? Is that it? With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to raise the tower. I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Dark. I just said extra <laughs> removed, but like, don't judge, bro. Come on, a little accident. Gamers can make accident. Like, how do I, how do I do it? Am I, am I just not able to, uh, to do stuff? I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. 
the weather is absolutely still the sky is crystal clear it's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you do listeners know i'm i'm a night owl and it's on nights like this i wish i wasn't cooped up in the studio makes an old man like me wish i could just roam wild <laughs> but here i am and we'll keep you company all night long if i weren't uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkies. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but, Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? Oh, Toby loves people. Toby's lit. Back, we, we were pretty far well, Toby's probably it dead. Sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. probably not going to read all of them. I'm probably not going to find all At first I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. The gas station was closer now, its light welcoming in the darkness. Hobbits! The best dogs in the state! Belly Burster is the best with no cops! Buster Dog is second best! The famous dog is... Toby?
bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. I know I should be getting on with the game. But this Ladies is like... and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire. And one where it... leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come, assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. The Deer Fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back 
knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Great Falls Sheriff Station. <laughs> Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen... We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me, and then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Honey, I'm home. Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. All right, you guys. So, that was chapter one of Alan Wake. I'm so glad we did this. This is such a good game. I love it. <sighs> it brings back memories. But, yeah. I hoped you liked this video. It's our, it's my very first uh, Let's Play, and of course I had to do Alan Wake. It's such a good game. Um, yeah. So I hope you don't find it too cringy, but I, I really like the feel, and this, this game's amazing. So yeah. 
If you like this video, leave a like, and if you like the channel, subscribe. I will be doing a lot more Let's Plays. We're going to finish all of Alan Wake and then move on to other games, so let's go. Woo! Stay cranky.